When it comes to identifying and protecting natural areas with unique biodiversity, ecosystems, geology, or stunning natural phenomena, the World Heritage Convention is one of the most effective international institutions. It has helped secure the protection of an extraordinarily rich sampling of the world's natural heritage, covering an area of around 3,550,000 square kilometers, spanning more than 250 terrestrial and marine sites in more than 100 nations. In today's video, we've put together a list of the top 10 largest natural world heritage sites that are worth a visit. Number 10. Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef, a site of remarkable variety and beauty on the northeast coast of Australia. Practically the entire ecosystem was inscribed as World Heritage in 1981. It contains the world's largest collection of coral reefs, having an area of 348,700 square kilometers, with 400 types of coral, 1,500 species of fish, and 4,000 types of mollusk. It also holds great scientific interest as the habitat of species of sea cow and the large green turtle. It is the only coral reef in the list of heritages. Number 9. French Austral Lands and Seas. The French Austral Lands and Seas comprise the largest of the rarely emerged landmasses in the southern Indian Ocean, with an area of more than 672,000 km2, including the Crozet Archipelago, the Kerguelen Islands, St. Paul, and Amsterdam Islands, as well as 60 small subantarctic islands. It has the largest population of king penguins and yellow-nosed albatrosses in the world. The remoteness of these islands from centers of human activity makes them extremely well-preserved showcases of biological evolution and a unique terrain for scientific research. Number 8. Galapagos Islands. Galapagos Island with an area of 14,696,203 hectares, is located in the Pacific Ocean, 1,000 kilometers from the South American continent. These 19 islands and the surrounding marine reserve have been called a unique living museum and a showcase of evolution. Its geographical location at the confluence of three ocean currents makes it one of the richest marine ecosystems in the world. The ongoing seismic and volcanic activity reflects the processes that formed the islands. Number 7. Kluane, Wrangell St. Elias, Glacier Bay, Tachinchinialsek Parks. The Kluane, Wrangell St. Elias, Glacier Bay, Tachinchinialsek National Parks comprise an impressive complex of glaciers and high peaks on both sides of the border between Canada and the United States. A large number of grizzly bears, caribou, and doll's sheep call the breathtaking natural landscapes their home. Their combine areas contain the largest non-polar ice field in the world, as well as examples of some of the world's longest and most spectacular glaciers. The Tachinchini and Alsek river valleys are pivotal because they allow ice-free linkages from coast to interior for plant and animal migration. The parks demonstrate some of the best examples of glaciation and modification of landscape by glacial action in a region still tectonically active, spectacularly beautiful, and where natural processes prevail. Number 6. Phoenix Islands Protected Area. The Phoenix Island Protected Area is the first site in Kiribati to be added to the World Heritage List. This area is a marine and terrestrial habitat reserve that spans a total area of 408,250 square kilometers and is located in the southern part of the Pacific Ocean. The Phoenix Island Group is one of the three island groups that make up Kiribati and the marine protected area that this property contains is the largest one of its kind anywhere in the world. This area is responsible for the preservation of one of the world's biggest unspoiled oceanic coral archipelago ecosystems, in addition to 14 known undersea sea mounts that are thought to be dormant volcanoes and other deep-sea habitats. There are roughly 800 recognized species of flora and fauna in this region, including 18 marine mammal species, 500 fish species, approximately 200 kinds of coral, and 44 species of birds. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. 
Papahanamoquakia. Papahanamoquakia is the name given to a vast and isolated linear cluster of small, low-lying islands and atolls, with their surrounding ocean, extending some 1,931 kilometers to the northwest of the main Hawaiian archipelago, located in the north-central Pacific Ocean. The property comprises the Papahanamoquakia Marine National Monument, which extends almost 2,000 kilometers from southeast to northwest. Much of the property is made up of pelagic and deep-water habitats, with notable features such as seamounts and submerged banks, extensive coral reefs, lagoons, and 14 square kilometers of emergent lands distributed between many eroded high islands, pinnacles, atoll islands, and caves. Number 4. Lake Baikal. UNESCO declared Baikal a World Heritage Site in 1996. Situated in southeast Siberia, Lake Baikal is the oldest and deepest, 1,700 meters deeper, lake in the world. It contains 20% of the world's total unfrozen freshwater reserves. It is known as the Galapagos of Russia, its age and isolation have produced one of the world's richest and most unusual freshwater faunus, which is of exceptional value to evolutionary science. The committee inscribed Lake Baikal as the most outstanding example of a freshwater ecosystem based on natural criteria. Number 3. Air and Tenera Natural Reserve. The Air and Tenera Natural Reserves are one of the largest protected areas in Africa, covering 7,736,000 hectares. It is the last bastion of Sahara Sahelian wildlife in Niger. It comprises two main zones, the mountain massifs of air rising to 2,000 meters in altitude, and the vast plain of the Tenera Desert. As desert species are found in very low densities, this large size is essential for their survival. In the boundaries of the Air Mountains and the Tenera Desert, the boundaries are marked at all the principal entry points. Number 2. Tassili Eniger. Tassili Eniger is a vast plateau in southeast Algeria at the borders of Libya, Niger, and Mali, covering an area of 72,000 square kilometer. The exceptional density of paintings and engravings, and the presence of many prehistoric vestiges, are remarkable testimonies to prehistory. The property is also of great geological and aesthetic interest, the panorama of geological formations with rock forests of eroded sandstone resembles a strange lunar landscape. Number 1. Central Amazon Conservation Complex. This area is the site of more than 6 million hectares, and is the largest protected area in the Amazon Basin and one of the richest areas of the planet in terms of biodiversity. It is located primarily at the confluence of the Negro and Solimois rivers. The property contains the majority of the ecosystems recorded in the Amazon, including dryland forests and periodically flooded lowland forests, as well as blackwater or whitewater watercourses, waterfalls, swamps, lakes, and beaches. That was all for today. Top Tube will be back next week, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.